So hello, my name's um, Robert Seaborn. I'm a Doctor of Molecular Biology here at Queen Mary University of London. I did my PhD up in Liverpool at Liverpool John Moore Un University and then I came down here now to do a postdoc uh, in molecular genetics. I am working on a project looking at how our genes and the environment in which we live interact to guide how our bodies develop and adapt and grow. And what we're really interested in is how environmental stress can impact our development. So the project that I'm working on here specifically is looking at uh, a small part of our genome. So our genome's a massive, massive stretch of DNA and we're really interested in just a little bit of that and how nutrient stress um, in terms of kind of food and our nutritional intake, how low levels of nutritional intake can, can impact that part of our DNA. And what we believe happens is this part of our DNA really controls a lot of how our, our, the rest of our genome works and functions. And then from then we believe that obviously how our genome functions impacts how we develop. So we're using an abstracted method here called cell culture or tissue culture to look at exactly how this occurs. So what we have here is our control media, which will allow our cells that we have from the blood of um, human samples in the Gambia. This control media will allow our cells to grow healthy and happy. But what we have here is the same media, exactly the same media, but we have specifically restricted some of the nutrients in this media um, and we'll use that as our, our nutritional stress. So what we're going to do is add some control media to our, our cells over here to keep them healthy and happy. And then we just turn them upside down to make sure that all the cells get everything they need. And after a while, the cells will grow enough so that you can begin to see them in the flasks. Now that's our control nutrients added to our control cells. Obviously now this is our stressed um, media where we've restricted some of the nutrients. And we'll add some of this to our cells that we want to expose to stress. And hopefully in a couple of days time, uh, we will be able to look at our stress cells and see notable changes in the DNA and how the DNA works. So we add our stress media to our cells. That's one. And that's two. So then what we do is we just give them a little bit of a tilt And then we will pop these in our incubators, which are set at 37 degrees for 48 hours. And the stress cells will then be exposed to nutrients with some restriction in it. Uh, whereas our controls will be happy to grow healthily and normal. Um, and we'll look at the differences in about 48 hours time.